One element of game design is frequently overlooked. It's not gameplay, graphics, or art. It's music. And I'm going to show you why music can hack your player's emotions and make them love your game. Music is universal. It's ingrained in nearly every aspect of our lives and video games are no exception. Some of my favorite music has come from video games and if you overlook the power of music can have on players of your game, your game may fall flat. And if you don't believe me, check out this experiment. Take this awesome cutscene from Final Fantasy and let's add a emotionally appropriate track on top. Now let's try that with a different kind of music. It's not quite the same, is it? Music is powerful because it's one of the few things that can hack the entire brain. And our brains love that. Music affects heart rate, stress, emotion, memory, attention. It does it all. And it's your job as a game developer to utilize it to the fullest for your players. And with the help of my handy dandy stay at home dev keyboard, I'm gonna show you a few ways to do just that. But hold up, composing music is a lot of work. So why should you even bother? Poorly implemented music is forgettable or works against the flow of your entire game. And the last thing that you want is bad music distract distracting from your awesome game. Properly used music is woven into the fabric of the game in a way that the players can't really separate the two. So don't just slap on some thematic music because it sounds cool. Think about how the music can work with the other elements of your game to reinforce their impact. Let's start with the first element of music that you can manipulate, tempo. Tempo in music refers to the speed of the music. How you use tempo can redefine the emotional message of your game. Don't believe me? Manipulating the elements of music guides the players to feel what you want them to feel when you want them to feel it. Finding that sweet spot can really amplify the emotions of your game and in turn create a more emotional and memorable experience for your players. To make more frequent changes to the player's emotion, use another musical element. Dynamics. In music, dynamics refer to the intensity of a sound essentially how loud the sound is. Generally speaking, louder music and sounds are going to bring things to the immediate attention of the player. So if you wanted to alert them to a new enemy or highlight an important element in your game, using louder dynamics will highlight elements of your game. Let's say we have a boss entering the game and we want the player's attention to be drawn to that boss for dramatic effect. So use dynamics in your music to set the intensity of your level or your area. Then use layered dynamics on top of that to bring out the important moments or elements of your game. Which brings me to the easiest thing that you can adjust even if you don't have the time or skill to compose your own music. Style. Music is a part of our culture, and a lot of musical styles and timbres already have an understood meaning behind them. A guitar track in Red Dead Redemption makes sense. <laughs> until you add an 80s distortion over top. But the point isn't just to match the cultural expectation. If you have a good reason behind it, you can use that expectation to surprise your players. And if you need some inspiration, don't just listen to your favorite games, but also movies and TV. They've been at it for a lot longer. And if you want to get really, really advanced and really hack into the emotions of your players, use music to reinforce the themes, characters, and elements of your game. Koji Kondo expertly uses themes or motifs throughout the Legend of Zelda series to musically recall feelings and emotions from the entire series. In fact, music is often used as a gameplay mechanic within the Zelda series to solve puzzles, fast travel, and manipulate the gameplay mechanics. Not only does he manipulate the music to fit the gameplay, but he also connects 
and embellishes the lore and story of the game through music. Using motifs and story connected themes within your game's music brings that music into the world of your game. And it makes it so much more. It's not just a soundtrack layered on top. Think more deeply about the music you choose and don't just go with something that sounds really cool. And once you have the music down, you might have other things that need fixing, including some of these beginner mistakes mentioned in this video. 